Well, a debate underway in Montgomery County could change how you buy pets in the future. Well, that's because the county uh, council president wants to ban pet stores from buying from commercial breeders. Montgomery County Bureau Chief Kevin Lewis live in Durwood with a look at what's being called one of the most talked about proposals there in years. Kevin, what's the story? Well, Leon, this proposed bill it is intended to limit the power and play of puppy mills. And the folks here at the Montgomery County Animal Adoption Center, they couldn't be happier about this legislation. Come on. According to the U.S. Humane Society, there are 10,000 active puppy mills in the United States. All combined, those facilities churn out more than 2 million dogs a year. We're not at all reinventing the wheel. Council President George Leventhal wants to change that, and so he's introduced legislation that would prohibit pet stores in Montgomery County from selling dogs or cats. The only exception, pet stores that sell dogs or cats obtained from an animal shelter or nonprofit rescue center. Hundreds and hundreds of emails from individuals urging the county council to pass this bill. As it stands, cities in 10 different states have already passed laws restricting pet store puppy sales. Those cities include Austin, Chicago, Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Toledo. I think it's great that we're getting in front of something uh, that could potentially be a problem down the road. Don Johnson runs the Montgomery County Animal Adoption Center. <laughs> the state-of-the-art facility has nearly 200 cats and dogs, all looking for a new home. We have, again, plenty of animals that are available for adoption. Uh, there's no need for this mass production. And it's, it's cruel, and it's, it's wrong for the customers that are purchasing the animals not to know where their, where their dog or cat is coming from. Now, you might be surprised to learn there's only one pet store in all of Montgomery County that currently sells dogs. I spoke on the phone today with the owner of that store. He tells me he disagrees with the intent of this bill, calling it, quote, an encroachment on business and the consumer. We're live tonight in Derwood. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. All right, Kevin. Kevin's made some friends. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> sure.